家好，我是田鹤婷，你们的田老师。呃呃 ，Today we will learn the grammar and the vocabulary. Uh, in lesson four, uh, we will talk about the hobbies. First word is, 周末。周末，周 means week. We learned 星期 before. 星期。Do you still remember? 星期 But when we are talking about the weekend, we cannot use 星期 We can only use 周 And 末 means end. Weekend. 周末末 The tree. This looks like this. And the tip of the tree means uh, the end of the tree, the, the branches. So, 末 is for uh, end. Next one is 打球打球打 means hit. 球 means ball. Uh, 打 is a verb. This radical is a hand. How to write hand in Chinese character? This is the hand, and this part is ding. That's nail, nail. How to make nail into the wall or into some uh, furniture? We, we use hand to make it into hit it. So this character means hit, 打, and 球 means ball. Uh, so if we are talking about uh, uh, play some uh, play basketball or play uh, tennis, we can add something in between. Uh, actually, hit the ball means the ball we played with hands. Uh, for example, ping pong ball, uh, basketball, or uh, football. Uh, for example, 打 篮球篮篮球 means play basketball and 打 网球, 网, so what do you think uh, uh, about this character? The, uh, it's a net, right? Play tennis. This is a tennis net. 打, 乒乓球, 乒乓。球, ping pong means ping pong, play ping pong. Uh, next one is 看, next, uh, next word. 看 means look, watch, uh, see, or read. On the top part is still a hand. And then the bottom part is the eye. Maybe I just draw it like this. A person is using his hand blocking the sunshine because he wants to look clearly or read or uh, watch or look clearly. Uh, next one is 电视, 电视。电 means electricity, 视 means version, so electricity version, that's TV, television, 电视. Uh, next one, let's talk about the hobbies. Uh, so when the people ask you, what do you like to do? 你喜欢做什么? Uh, 
欢做什么？做、so, 做 is do 什么 what so the answer should be 我喜欢 a, a verb and a noun so all of this part is what we are going to replace so the answer should be a verb plus a object or plus a noun uh so 唱歌 means 我喜欢 sing songs. 唱歌 ，we don't say I like singing or like I like to sing. We say 我喜欢唱 sing 歌 song song or songs. 唱歌 next one 跳舞跳 means jump and 舞 means dance. 跳 jump dance. It doesn't make sense, but that's uh that's a a compound. Noun that means dance, 跳舞 Next one is 听音乐 Listen. This part is a verb. 听 Listen. 音乐 Music. 音乐 Next one. 看 Look. Watch. 电视看电视 Watching TV, I like watching TV. 我喜欢看电视。看书，看书。呃，书 means book. So I like reading. But、uh, even we we don't、uh, use read here. We use 看 The 看 here means read. 看球。看球 means watch a ball game. Uh, most of the time we can put something in between, here, here, and here. For example, 看球看 what kind of ball a ball game? 看篮球我喜欢看篮球 I like watching basketball. 看网球。I like to watch tennis game. Uh, okay. Next one is 看电影 What's the meaning of 电影电 is electricity. 影 means shadow. Electricity shadow. What's that? Uh, that's the movie film. 看电影 means uh, 我喜欢看电影 I like uh, uh watching movie. And uh, another new word. 电脑 What's this? 电 Electricity, now is a brain. So electricity brain, it should be really smart. That's computer. 电脑 that's for computer. 电脑电四声脑电脑 computer. Next one is 对对 means Right or correct. In our book, we have 对不对 and we learn something about 对吗 We we know that a not a equals to uh a plus 吗 And 对不对 or 对吗 We always use these two at the end of the sentence. For example, uh. Affirmative in front. 你是高文中，呃，考吗？对，不对。You are 高文中，呃、uh, ，is that right or right? 
对不对 means right. It equals to 你是高文中，对吗？Most of the time, uh, people want to get a positive answer. Uh, normally, people will answer 对 or sometimes they will answer 不对 But uh, most of the time, they want a, a positive answer. Okay. Let's learn next the word. 有的有的 means some. Uh, 有 we learned this. Means have or to have. 的 is a possessive word. Uh, even 有 have and a possessive word together, it doesn't make sense. But this uh 有的 means some. Uh, if I say some people, I can say 有的人有的。人，有的人 ，some people， 呃，有的老师。some teacher， 呃 ，some students， 呃，有些学生，有的学生。呃 ，next one is， 时候，时候 ，means。Moment, uh, a duration in the time or a point in the time. 时候 uh, For example, 有的时候 means sometime or sometimes. 什么时候什么 We learn this. What? What time or when? 小时候 Little time. Uh, it doesn't mean little time or short time. That means uh, childhood. When I was maybe I'm when I was young, I can say, 我小时候，我小时候。Next one is 常常，常常 means often. Uh, the repetition even here is a repetition, but、uh, it still has the second tone. We don't have. Uh, in this one, we don't have the neutral tone. Uh, let's do some review. Before we learned the grammar is subject plus verb plus object. If we want to say, uh, uh, plug in the date or time, how to put it here? Most of the time, we will add it here. Between subject and the verb, we add it here. So. Subject plus time or place and manner plus verb plus object and 常常 means often so I should put it here. For example, 我常常吃中国菜 I often eat 中国菜 Chinese food. I eat Chinese food often. 你有周末 weekend 常常 often play sport or、uh, plays ball because 球 means ball. Uh, here is 周末常常 because that represents time. Leo plays sports often during the weekend. Next sentence is: 我明天 tomorrow. 请你吃饭 It's nothing about uh, 常常 but uh, the still the uh, follow the grammar here. 我明天 tomorrow. Do you still remember 明 a sun? And a moon here. That means tomorrow. 明天 This is a day. 天 means day or sky. 我明天 Tomorrow 
invite you to eat. 我明天请你吃饭. Subject, time, uh, and the object. Next one is 那. 那. We learned this before. That means that. But uh, now, uh, this word means uh, in that case or well. For example, in the conversation, we learn 我周末常常看电影. Uh, I watch movies very often uh, during the weekend. B. 那我们 Okay, na. Well, okay, in that case, 我们今晚看电影怎么样? 那我们今晚看电影怎么样? How about to watch a movie tonight? Okay, well, how about to watch a movie tonight? Well, or in that case, na. Uh, if you don't have na in the sentence, uh, that's totally fine. Okay, next one is 去 去 means to go or go somewhere uh, This one means change the location It's not here For example 我明天 tomorrow 去看 Go somewhere and see or watch or look 一个 An American movie 看一个美国电影 so we cannot say uh, without chu because I'm going to the theater or somewhere else, not at home, my home uh, or current location. So I should say chu kan dian yu. Next one. Wa chu kan wang chu. I will go somewhere to watch wang chu. Wang means uh, the net. 网球, something has a uh, net. What kind of sport has net? The tennis, the tennis net. Uh, next one is 外国. 外国. Why means uh, alter or foreign. 国 means country. Uh, do you still remember the previous or the first video we talked about? Country, that's all Chinese think the country should be a square. So the outside of the country is a square and inside is a powerful king to charge a country. Why outside the country, that means foreign country. Why means foreign country. Why ren? Why ren means foreigner. Next one is Qing Ke. Qing Ke. We learned qing before means invite. Uh, lesson, uh, yeah, lesson, lesson three. Uh, li yo. Oh, bai ying ai. Bai ying ai invite uh, li, uh, gao wen zhong to eat. Bai ying ai qing gao wen zhong chi fan. And, uh, but what's the meaning of ke? Ke means guest. So invite somebody. This is a somebody. So I can say qing ni. Or qing ta or qing wo qing gao wen zhong. Uh, so I can replace the ke with any any name or any uh, pronounce. Uh, okay. So how to say I invite all of you to eat? I can say wo. No, because I'm talking to somebody else, a lot of people, so I can say 我请客吃饭 or oh, where is my ke? 我请客吃饭 I can also say 我请客唱歌 唱歌 
or 我请客跳舞 or dance. 唱歌 means sing the songs, and it's really popular to treat others to eat in China. And、uh, also, it's so popular to invite your friend to sing the song. Uh, and uh, where do they go? They go to the karaoke. They call KTV. KTV. KTV has a lot of、uh, facilities and、uh, big screens and、uh, microphone. You can sing the song. It's not that awkward to sing the song there with your friend and, and your family. Okay. Next one is 昨天。昨天 means yesterday. 昨 means past. Means past. For on the 天 we learn this means day or sky. Past day means yesterday. Ah,、uh, let's do some practice and review. We learned today is 今天。今天，昨天 ，yesterday. How about tomorrow? 明天 ，a sun and a moon. That means tomorrow.、Uh, how about uh, uh, yesterday night? 昨晚 ，because we learned 晚 means evening or yesterday evening. Night, 今晚 and tomorrow night, 明晚 Okay, right now you memorize six new words. Uh, next one is 因为所以因为 means because 所以 means Uh, so or therefore, it's really common to see 因为 and 所以 in one sentence in Chinese. Let's do the let's see the conversation. The example here. A says, 你为什么请我吃饭？为什么 means why. You why do you ask me to eat or invite me to eat? 请 means invite. 我吃饭。B says, 因为你昨天请我唱歌 Yesterday you、uh, treat me to sing songs. 所以我请你吃饭 So you see, 因为 and 所以 in one sentence. If we have the same question here, 你为什么请我吃饭 And I have two reasons how to connect these two. Uh, because or two reasons together, I can say, 因为 the 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 maybe 因为 uh something you can imagine, and then use 也因为 or 因为 the reason here, 还因为 another reason, 还 and 也 means also or two or yeah again. And we will learn this later. Means the same meaning. Yo. Force home. Yo. They have the same meaning. I can say 因为，又因为。Okay. Next one. Uh, let's do some review. We learned the. We learned how to make a sentence. If I have a, a sentence, how to make it. Uh, first, you can use the the question maker. Ma. You can use ma at the end of the sentence. Uh, for example, 你好 very simple one. You good? If I add ma, 你好吗 Are you good? Or I can use a, not a.、Uh, this one, this one, a can be a verb or adjective. I can say,、uh, 
Sharing the same meaning. So, are you okay? The answer can be, I'm very good. Or, I'm not good. Uh, let's do another practice. 李友今晚看电影李友今晚看电影李友 will uh, watch a movie tonight uh, He didn't see Chu because he or she will stay at home and watch it She doesn't need to move at all so, 李友今晚看电影 How to make a sent a uh, question I can add a ma at this, the end here and question mark. Uh, also, you you see a verb here. I can use a not a. 看不看? So I can say, 你有今晚看不看电影? That means, will Leo go? Uh, will Leo watch a movie or not? Next one. Uh, if in the sentence we see 很都 Chang uh, Chang, these are three verb. Uh, no, what's that? Uh, adverb. Uh, these are three adverb. You cannot use uh, a not a. You can only use ma at the end of the sentence to make a question. For example, Wang Peng, Hemang. You see, Hen is very. So you cannot use a not a because it has a. Uh, I can only say Wang Peng Hen Mang Ma Is Wang Peng very busy? Taman they do all or both Yo have Nu Er Nu Er daughters Taman do yo nu er they all have daughters Taman do yo nu er ma You cannot say Taman do Yo that's wrong. You can also say ma to make a question. Next one is if in the sentence we have more than one verb, how to make it? For example, Gao Wen want or wish or yeah, want or wish or think. Da is hit. Chiu ball. This means play ball. And uh, we have two verb. Uh, how to make it? If I I can uh, I can add a ma here. Gao Wen Zhong Xiang Da Chiu Ma is does Gao Wen Zhong wants to play ball? But uh, if I want to make a A not A, how to make it? You can only Make A not A for the first verb. How to make it? Gao Wen Zhong Xiang. The first verb. A not A. Xiang Bu Xiang. Da Chiu. This sentence equals to Gao Wen Zhong Xiang Da Chiu Ma. Let's do another one. Bai Ying Ai Chu Kan Dian Ying. Can you find two verbs? Yeah, first one is Chu to go and Kan watch, look, and read. Chu Kan Dian Ying. I can add a Ma here. Another way is I first verb and make it into A not A. Bai Ying I Chu Chu 
看电影呢？ So is will Bai Ying I go or not go to watch that movie? And question mark. Okay, next one. Question with how ma? How ma? We know ma is a question maker. Uh, we add ma at the end of the sentence, or yeah, only how plus ma. Uh, it will make a question. How ma means uh, how about that or how is that? Uh, we we learned that add a, a ma at the end of sentence equals to a in of a. So I can say. 好吗 equals to 好不好，好不好 ，or 怎么样 ？How is that? 怎么样 ？We always put this, these at the end of the sentence. For example, 我们去看电影。Let's go to watch a movie. And、uh, 好吗？ How is that? Or how about that? Uh, or 好不好 Or 怎么样 Uh, next example. 我们今晚吃中国菜 Let's eat Chinese food tonight. And add 好吗 Uh, how is that? 好不好？怎么样 ？You can use this to ask their advice if they want to go with you. Uh, next one is, 你好吗？你怎么样 ？In Chinese, when you are talking to a person, you want to say how are you. Uh, you can say, 你好吗 ？Or, 你怎么样 ？In colloquial Chinese, I prefer this one. 你怎么样？ Uh, next one is 小 little 加呃、uh, plus surname or last name. Uh, that means when you see a familiar person, you can put 小 in front of their last name. For example, 小王小田 you can call me 小田小李 because you are so familiar with them. They are your Acquaintance, so you can say 小王、小李、小田 Uh, if that person is old, uh, this one is for a young person. If that person is old, you can say 老 plus surname. 老 means old. 老师嗯、um, old teacher. Okay, 老王、老田 You can call my dad 老田老李 Oldly. Uh, next one is subject plus verb plus a negative sentence. Uh, in English, you you want to express um, I think you are right, and if I want to have a negative sentence, I can say I don't think you are right. But in Chinese, we prefer to say uh, I still keep I think I think you are not right. We have a negative sentence. Here,、uh, sometimes we we can negate the verb here. I don't think, but、uh, normally people will say, "I think you are not right." Okay. For example, 我觉得看电视，哦、uh, ，看电影没有意思。I feel that watching movie is not interesting. 我觉得你不喜欢中国菜。So the first one, 我 they are all subject. 觉得 feel I feel is a verb. And then if I cover all of this, and the rest of them are the negative sentence. 看电视没有意思。你不喜欢中国菜。And next sentence is, 我想 I think, 他没有哥哥
uh, a subject verb plus a negative sentence. 她没有哥哥, I don't th think she has any brother. Uh, uh, let's turn to the page 111. First of vocabulary is 小. 小 means little. We learned the opposite word, word is 大. 大 means big. This is 大. Uh, next one, 好久. 好久 means long time. 好, we learned that means good. But uh, good plus another um, another adjective like uh, 好, uh, 久. The 好 here means very, very long time. Very long time. And uh, we know that long time no see. Long time, 好久, 不见. Bu uh, is a negative word. Jian means see. Uh, do you still remember? I draw this before. Up part is the eye, and the down part is body means see. Long time no see. How bu jian. Next one is bu cuo. Bu cuo. Bu is a negative word. Cuo is a, another negative word uh, means wrong so no or not wrong that means double negative that's the positive very good or good 不错 means good 想, 想 means think or thought uh, the dumb part is xin. That's the heart of a human being. Uh, in the old ch time, Chinese think the, the thought and ideas are coming from the heart. So every time you will see the idea of thought or think, it has the radical xin. Xiang means think or thought. Next one is jue de. 觉得, this means uh, feel. Uh, if I say, I feel you're very good, I can say, 我觉得你很好, 我觉得你很好. But uh, in English, you can also say, I think you're very good, or I feel you're very good. But in Chinese, we use 觉得 for feel. I feel you are very good. Next one is 有意思. 有意思. We learned 有 before have or to have. 意思 means meaning. So have meaning in Chinese is very interesting. Interesting. 有意思. Uh, in the sentence, we will see 这是什么意思? Uh, 这是, this is what? Is meaning. What's the meaning of this? 这是什么意思? And uh, uh, you can also say uh, uh, this is 什么? What? Meaning. Uh, if you want to ask me something, if you show me uh, a word or some something uh, you can ask me uh, 这是什么意思? or something uh, 什么意思? next one is 小意思 is a slang little meaning little meaning means a piece of cake if, if you got an A in calculus 3 uh, people will say wow you are awesome you did really well uh, you can say 小意思 Xiao is that's a piece of cake or that's nothing. That's easy. Next one is 只, 只 means only. How to use it? We add it here. Subject plus 只 plus verb plus object. If I say 我 only 只 
想，学习。I only want to study. 我只想学习，好吗？不想吃饭。呃、uh, ，next part this one is a phrase that don't or not or no want or think. 吃饭 eat food because the second phrase doesn't have a subject. Uh, the reason of this that we already know the second part is still talking about 我 so there's no need to put 我 here. You can say 我只想学习，不想吃饭。I only want to study. I don't want to eat. It, it's not me. Okay, next one is 睡觉。睡觉 means sleep. Sleep. 睡 means uh that's a verb means to sleep. Uh, 觉 means it's a noun. Sleep. Uh, 睡 let me write it here. Fourth tone. 睡 Ha, it has two radicals. First part is mm mm-hmm. that means I. And another part is 吹 That means falling down, or um, yeah, falling down. So your eyes, the your eyelid is almost closed. It's dropping down. That means you are tired. You want to sleep. 睡睡觉 means sleep. Next one, 算了算了 that means forget it. Uh, in maybe for example, if you want to somebody to help you to do something, you but、uh, that person is so busy, uh, you will say 算了 I will find someone else. 算了 forget it. That's okay. Uh, forget it. Next one is 找找 means. Uh, find or look、uh, look for something.、Uh, we learned that this radical, 手手 hand.、Uh, this part is the radical 手 without the top part. So, if you are using the hand is looking for something, so that means、uh, 找 Zhao is for find, look for. Next one, 别人，别人，别人，别 means other. 人 means people or person. So other people or other person, others. So、uh, yeah, this means others. If 别 plus other things, not 人 you should add the possessive. Or the, 别的工作 other job, 别的老师 other teacher. So in our book, we find a word、uh, of a sentence. 我去找别人 I'm looking for others、uh, to help me. 我去找别人 Why we use 去 here? Because I cannot find the person here. I need to go somewhere. I need to change the location. 我去找别人 Means I will find someone else to help me to find someone else. Okay. Let's talk about the difference between, uh, 想喜欢觉得 We learned 想 in the vocabulary part that means think, and it also has another two meaning that want to or would like to, uh, 想 For example, 我想打球 I want to play ball. Uh, 白老师想看书白老师，呃、uh, 
uh, teacher Bai or Mr. Bai want to read a book. Read a book. 可是, but, 王老师不想看书, but Mr. Wang doesn't want to read. Next one. 你想不想听音乐? Would you like to listen to the music? 你想不想? A, not A. Make a question. 你想不想听音乐? Equals to 你想听, listen. Uh, listen to the music. Do you, would you like to listen to the music? Add a ma question maker and question mark. Next one. 喜欢, 喜欢, we learned this, like uh, or be fond of. For example, 我喜欢唱歌, I like singing. But 我想唱歌 means I want to sing. But it doesn't mean I like to sing. That means I want to sing. I like to sing. 我喜欢唱歌, 我想唱歌. Uh, next one is 觉得, 觉得 means feel or to feel uh, that's emphasized on giving the comments or the opinions uh, on something or somebody for example 我, oh, I'll type it here let's see 我觉得, I feel 你很好 you are very good. I feel you are very good. Uh, in English, you can say, I think you are very good. But uh, in Chinese, you better to say, 觉得, you cannot say, 想, because uh, I'm giving the comment or the opinion of something. You better to say, 我觉得你很好. 